Good day, dear viewers, especially to our dear professor and instructor, Sir Herbert Corpus. Let me start by saying that whatever we do, whether big or small, knowingly and unknowingly have ethical considerations. In today's cyber world, privacy and safety have become major issues, especially for minors. However, cyber safety must be everybody's concern. Massive data collection, not only by different digital platforms and all throughout the cyberspace, must be restricted to not endanger anyone's life and privacy. The blue hat or white hat versus black hat hackers must also be banned, or better yet, make safety our priority every day. As they say, cybersecurity begins with you. So make it personal and a priority every day, whether online or offline. Say we should be careful about whatever we are posting online and safeguard every transaction that we are going to do for whatever we are posting online could no longer be deleted like our personal profiles. Hence, any company that makes use of any personal data of any online user without proper consent and authority must be restricted and even given appropriate sanction or penalty. Our country, the Philippines, must strengthen its data protection or cybersecurity laws such that data within the country are inaccessible by any invader with evil intent or that any malware or virus that tries to attack our cyberspace in the Philippines must be eliminated and that all data is secured and safe through data banks that are accessible only by the users with safety features and authentications. To reiterate, educational applications and services should be able to expect a level of safety and respect for users' rights as developers and deployers are subject to legislation. This includes consumer protection, product safety, and liability rules, as well as fundamental rights, such as privacy and non-discrimination. 